Number four, Nikki Wagner. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Corrections, what support has the Corrections Departments provided in Canterbury since the first earthquake struck in September last year? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, I'm very pleased to advise that since the first earthquake in September last year, offenders on community work have provided over 170,000 hours of free labour to help clean up Christchurch. Community work offenders have been used to clear streets, assist in getting schools and early childhood centres back up and running, tidy up parks, reserves and marae. Following last week's aftershock, community work offenders were quickly sent out to the eastern suburbs where they have helped non-profit organisations, community groups and others to clear the silt and liquefaction from their properties. The Department will continue to ensure that community work offenders are available to help out in the months ahead. Nikki Wagner. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Corrections, what actions have the Department and staff taken to support their colleagues in Christchurch? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, from today, Christchurch-based corrections staff will be receiving the benefit of the Department's Give Your Mates a Day Trust. The Trust was set up after February's earthquake and nearly 1,000 staff from around the country have kindly donated a day of their leave. The Department put the net dollar value of that leave in a trust. Due to the generosity and goodwill of staff, a total of $166,430 has been raised. This money is now being distributed to Christchurch Correction staff and payments will be completed by this Friday. Question number five, 